Let's get to it. So, Tefim Lopez put something on Twitter, and Michael Benson reported. This is what he said. I beat the guy that was the man in the division, so I am the king. Devin Haney is number two. Tefimo is number one. And I know that Ish eats them every night because everybody knows you want to be number one. You never want to be number two. Like Floyd Mayweather said with Manny Pacquiao, it's okay. It's okay to be number two. It's okay to be right behind me. I'll show you the way. Don't worry. He's not a pay-per-view attraction. Listen, Tefimo Lopez have to understand something. He's not Floyd Mayweather. Absolutely not. He also have to understand another thing. He's being very delusional right now. He can't possibly be number one without doing anything in the division. Okay, he got a belt, so what? Devin Haney got a belt. <laughs> Rolly Romero got a belt. Come on, bro. And for anybody who's saying, oh, yeah, you're just hating on Tefimo Lopez. I'm not hating on Tefimo Lopez, bro. I just want Tefimo Lopez to do something in the division and stop talking all the time. All he do is talk. Oh, Tank Davis got some D sucking lips. Oh, uh, 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 they don't want to fight me. Oh, everybody's scared of me. But all he do is price himself out. Every person in America is either a doer or a donter. So he going to make a fight happens with Jermaine Ortiz easy. But then when the fight comes with the one that people want to see, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney and Tank that those, he always pricing himself out. Why? He's not number one. No matter what he say, no matter how much he try to gas himself up, he's not number one. He got to do something to be number one. Is either a doer or a donter. You can't just sit back and just call yourself number one just because you beat somebody who didn't have the belts anymore. Oh, okay, you're the lineal champ. All right, cool. That still doesn't make you the guy. You're not that guy. Just like Eddie Hearn said, you have to know your worth. These fighters have to get realistic and know their worth. And people like Team Fimo Lopez, I've done a fight with Team Fimo Lopez, the undisputed lightweight world championship. We just sold out the theatre. And when he boxed Josh Taylor for the unified championship at 140, they didn't even sell out the theatre. And that's a massive fight. So, you know, people have got to get realistic with the draw that they are. You're not worth $20 million. I'm sorry, bro. Tank is. Because we know what we're getting with Tank. There's a 96% chance that we're going to get a knockout with Tank. With Tefima Lopez, there's a 68% chance we're going to get a knockout. They're wrong. Everybody's wrong here. So what you think people are going to pay for? People want to see knockouts, bro. That's what they come to see, to be honest with you. And if somebody telling me, hey, look over here. On this one, there's a 98% chance you're going to see a knockout. And on that one, there's a 68% chance you're going to see a knockout. And you don't even know who they are, which one you're going to pick. Of course you're going to pick the 98% chance. So Tank, he does make that type of money, but that's because that's Tank. Shakira is probably a better boxer than him, and he don't even make that type of money. Go look up the history. Once again, I'm not hating on Tefima Lopez for anybody who think I am. Because guess what? I actually got Tefima Lopez beating Ryan Garcia. Oh, look at this guy. I actually got Tefima Lopez beating Devin Haney. Get the f*** out of here, man. I'm sorry for anybody who's saying, bro, you crazy. He ain't beating no Devin Haney. I think he would. I think his skills is way better. And he got a little more power. So yeah, he will beat Ryan Garcia. He will beat Devin Haney. That's what be pissing me off because I feel like he can beat these guys, but he just won't fight them. Now, when it comes to Shakira and Tank, I'm sorry. I don't think he beat those guys. I don't think he beat Shakir Stevenson. No, I'm sorry. I don't think he beat Tank Davis at all. No, but he definitely beats Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, in my opinion. Stop saying that you are the man and just go out and be the man.